All right, in today's video, um, I'm gonna take some of the fish out of the pond just for a quick measure and check up. Um, I'm gonna show you the bog filter, which I've had running for a couple of weeks now. So my bog filter is running off the skimmer, which uh, yeah, is running really nice. It's obviously got its own little pre-filter. So the water that is skimmed off goes through the skimmer and gets pumped into the bog which is just a um, big plastic container holds about 150 liters of water I think and then I've got two plastic um, plastic mesh weave baskets fill them with some expanded clay and I've popped a couple of taro plants in uh, now these things were you know this size a couple of like, like six weeks back and it's just gone nuts it's gone really big really fast um, like you can see the size of that it's actually touching the roof of where the pond is at now it's obviously thriving on the um, nitrates and whatever else in the water and yeah it's just gone nuts so from there the water just goes back I've reversed the flow of the water through the aquaponic system now so just comes out through the bog flows through that aquaponic pipe and back into the um, filter system so yeah that's working really well the nitrates are down significantly I've only got um, a very small pump inside this skimmer so it's a nice slow flow of water going through the bog which it seems seems to be enjoying what I did do is I've just used irrigation fittings to come across here but I've just tapped into the this 90 degree bend and uh, this is actually a piece of straw um, I don't know if you can hear that but I've just created a small venturi so it draws in air as the water passes and then at the bottom I've got a splitter pipe just running water left and right um, and obviously with the venturi it just supplies a little bit of oxygen to the roots and yeah I, I, obviously it's pretty happy because this thing is just, it's getting bigger each day. Um, and I've also, yeah, I've plaid the outside of it just to fit in with the rest of the pond. What I'm going to try and do now is um, measure some of the fish. Um, I want to measure each of them. Just because, I, you know, I have noticed I've started to increase in size this season. Um, now that I've been able to up the food and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard to tell how much exactly when you're looking at them every day. Uh, as well as that, there's a couple of fish in here that I want to sell. So I want to get them out, get some pictures. We'll see how it goes if... Um, if the fish that are getting stressed out and stuff, I'll probably um, probably leave it off and just do one one every one, one a day or one or two a day. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so what I've got is I've got an esky here with some water in it and just a rule at the end for kind of a sense of scale and some nets and stuff. So we'll give it a crack. And see how it goes.
right, that's that um, job finished. Um, I've put the net over the pond just because the fish were a bit skittish and uh, yeah, I didn't realize how high Koi could jump. Um, so I'll probably leave this on for a couple of days and let them settle back in. I managed to measure most of the fish. I think there's only one that I didn't get a chance to measure just because yeah, it went a bit nuts when I tried to net it. So um, I'm going to leave him off for now. Kind of have an idea anyway because he's pretty um, similar to that Showa, so should be okay. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, that's my update on um, the bog filter, which is working really well, and measuring the fish. Thank you.